Is it possible for beings to be shy? I've seen a boy who seemed to turn away from me in shyness. And I had a couple of thoughts about this. First of all, let me say, go into meditation and ask spirit about that. And spirit will reveal that to you because it's specific to you. But as I sensed into that and felt that, I thought, well, it could be probably one of two things. It's either an entity that is, for example, a deceased loved one or an ancestor or even no, a deceased loved one or an ancestor who's making themselves known to you based on an attribute that they had in life. And these, this person was shy and they are showing themselves to you in a version of themselves where you will be able to pick up on that based on that attribute. So I would ask myself, well, do I have any family members who were particularly shy? And I would, I would look around, I'd, I'd poke around that for a little bit. However, this feels more so to me like mediumship and potentially like a spirit that might be caught somehow or stuck, if you will, in the fourth dimensional reality. And this happens and sadly children can be there and innocence can be there and bad beings can be there. Like it's a whole crazy fourth dimensional reality. However, the thing about mediumship is mediums cast somewhat of a peculiar light. We all do as spiritual beings. And as we connect and click in, we get brighter and brighter and the world of spirit sees it. But mediumship or mediums have kind of an additional energy to them. It's like that flower of light I was talking about earlier in the class. We come into this world perfectly patterned and that pattern has a signal to it. Well, being a medium requires a certain energetic composition, you see, and it signals and that signal is energy or it can be light and beings in the fourth dimensional reality or beings that are proximate to this earth reality, wherever they are, they recognize that light. And I think it's because it's similar to wherever it is they are. And maybe it's brighter than wherever it is that they are. You, in effect, are a kind of go to the light light that they're able to see. And so they approach you. And so he's shy. Maybe the, this little boy is shy. Maybe this little boy has had encounters and experiences and this little boy needs soul rescue, being crossed, being handheld into the light. And that's why he's approaching you. Are you safe? I see, I see the light in you. I see the bright in you, but I'm shy and I'm scared because who knows what his story is. And if I were you, I would talk to him. You can do this obviously with actual words, or you can go into meditation and you can reach out to him. How would you do that? Well, let me tell you. Remember back when he turned away, do you remember how he looked? What color was his hair? What was he wearing? Was he looking at you out of the corner of his eye? Whatever it was, remember that? Take a picture of it. Just your mind's eye, take a picture of that. Just like a Polaroid that exists in your third eye. That's him in symbol form. And when you go into meditation, you bring up the Polaroid and you send your consciousness into it and you send your intention into it and you call him and you say, come here. It's okay, come here and see if he comes back. Now, for most of us that are mediums, this entire transaction or, or this t entire encounter happens in the imagination. Again, the imagination is just as real and is probably way more dynamic because it's not as dense as what we got going on here in 3D reality. So pay attention to what happens in the imagination. Pay attention to what you feel as well. Maybe you feel sadness or maybe you feel the love of a child reaching out to somebody safe. Just pay attention to it all and begin to have the experience and see where it takes you. My guess it's mediumship and there's more to be done there for you. And that's why this little boy has approached you even in the shyness. To learn more about me, the services I offer, and also my online spiritual community, please visit me at crystalandcompton.com. See you there.